Hi friends, how are you? Today we are going to have a lesson related with measures. Measures are used all the time. And maybe we are at home and we are going to buy a new dresser uh, or a new sofa. And we need to measure the wall or measure the room we have to see if our dresser is going to fit or if our new sofa is going to fit even in our car or architects use measures all the time or even the kitchen we use measures <laughs> or in the classroom when we are doing some art crafts we need to measure the paper and cut them out forming one four inches long um, cardboard square so we use measures every single day or in real life. Imagine that I need to measure this marker because <laughs> I'm going to buy a new pencil box and I need to be sure if it fits inside or not. How can I measure this, this marker? In first grade, probably your teacher asks you to measure it with some clips or fixed cubes or probably these two. How many clips do you think this marker can fit? I think around probably four. Let's see. One, two, three, for, yeah, kind of, kind of. What are we doing? What you were doing when you were little first graders, you were doing estimation. Estimation is a great work to do. It's like we did in our rounding works. And we wasn't sure of how many numbers exactly we have on each side, but we were able to say, is closer to this number, closer to this number. Now it's the same. I'm not sure how many clips I can fit here, but it's going to be around four, five. So this is make an approximation. It's something that we are gonna do this, this week too. Why you are using clips or cubes were almost the same size. Why do you think? Because in real life, we don't use clips. Probably you don't know, you don't have any idea. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. It is because the measure of this clip is something, is a real measure that we use here in US, in Great Britain too, to measure things. So a clip, can give you a good idea of how long is this. One inch. The way to wait to write this software is like that. This is the abbreviation, abbreviation, abbreviatura. One inch. So this clip is one inch long. So if you practice before in first grade, now you can have an idea of how much is an inch long. It's around a clip. Or maybe, what do you think that can measure one inch long? Mm, an eye, probably? Or um, a toe, <laughs> depending? Yeah, so this is one inch. If we are measuring the marker in real life, we will use a ruler, okay? And as you did two weeks ago, be sure that your zero is right at the beginning of your object to measure it. And then you just need to look at the inches here. One, two, three, four. A little bit more than four inches long. Four and a half. Four and a half, exactly. What about if we need to measure these scissors? How many in 
inches long do you think it's going to be? 10? 10 is too long! I think it's going to be around... My guess, my approximation is that it's going to be around 7 inches long. But I'm not sure. I'm just approximating. So, I'm gonna... Do it like that. Oh, I was wrong. 7 inches long will be like that. And this is just 5 inches long. Exactly 5. Exactly 5 inches long. Okay? But I'm gonna explain you something. Inches, or inches, is a kind of measure that you use here in US. Like, regularly, like normal. But for example, where I used to live in Spain or in Europe or in the rest of the countries, except Great Britain, we don't use inches for measuring. Mm -mm. We use something different. This. If you go to school in Spain, you should have in a lesson of how long a centimeter is. Why you need to learn what is a centimeter? Because if you travel to another country, you are gonna need it. You, you are, if you are buying a sofa in Spain or a marker in another country, in Peru or wherever, you are gonna find the measure or this marker. You are gonna see in the marker that is 10 centimeters long and you're gonna think oh my gosh centimeters I have no idea what it is so it's because of that that you need to learn it because it's something that in the rest of the world works like that so what is a centimeter you can think okay it's the same this is also a centimeter is the same measure same longitude but it's another kind of word, but that's not true, guys. This clip is one inch, inch long, but a centimeter, but this clip will be two, three centimeters long. Do you want to know how long is a centimeter? It's around this. This is one centimeter long. So it's tinier than an inch much tinier. I think it's more than a third or a half, more than a half. So imagine you are in Spain and you need to measure this marker and you don't have inches in there. Our rulers doesn't have inches like here. So, but we have these kind of rulers with the smallest, and if you check here you can see cm for centimeters, like here. And in the other side, you have inches. And in this case, you don't have the word right then. No. So, to measure in centimeters is the same. You put the object at the beginning, right in the zero. And here you can see that it measures. 12 centimeter. I was wrong. I thought that they were 10 when I was approximated. And the same with the scissors. How long are the scissors in centimeters? How many cubes like that? These are the ones we use for math. Can fit. I'm not sure. Probably around 15. right in the zero and not 15 but 13 centimeters long. So in inches they were 5 inches, yeah, 5 inches. In centimeters the same thing measures 13 centimeters. What about if we need to measure our bed. Oh my gosh, if I need to measure my bed with this ruler, poof, it's gonna take a lot of time. 
because it's going to be so big that I, 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 I think maybe we can find a better way to measure it. Yeah, probably. So these two measures, we use them for things that are kind of a small, tiny handle, things that are not so big. So this is for tiny things. La, like a marker. <laughs> but what about if I need to measure a chair? <laughs> I need to measure this chair. And yeah, I can use inches. But it's going to take so long and this chair is not so big. So I can start measuring. This is 12 plus blah, blah, blah. Oof. But it's going to take so much time. Because of that, someone that was super smart thought, okay, we need to have a kind of measure for smaller things. Because sometimes we're going to measure super, super tiny things. But when we are measuring a big thing as a car, as a bed, as a coach, as a house, we, don't, we cannot use that. It's, it's going to be a lot of time for doing that. So the thing that you did here in US is to use something that is this long. This is one, do you know what it is? How it's called? It's not one inch. It's one foot. And the way to write one foot shorter is like that. So this is one foot long. For example, if I'm measuring this rack, how many foot, this is like our clip, you know? How many foot do you think this rack can fit? I think my approximation is that it can fit three, little less than three. Let's see, one, two, and three, yeah, around three. So this rack is three feet long. You got it? How many inches is this rack? 12, 24, 20, 30, 32 inches. So if we are using a smaller measure, we will to have a greater number in inches. If we are using foot, a feet, actually, uh, we are gonna have three feet long. So much faster, it takes less time. Okay, but this is what happened here in US and in Great Britain. But what happened in Spain? We don't use foot. We don't use feet, neither. So what we use is something that is this long. I hopefully you can see it. Oh my. In this case, it's not shorter, like the centimeter than the inches, but it's longer than the, than the foot. Something this big. Do you know how, my, how it's called? This is one. A ver, lo voy a poner aquí. One meter. One meter. So, if I am measuring my bed, I think my bed is going to be around two meters long, more or less. If I'm measuring my car, how many meters do you think I can fit in my car? I think around four, four meters long. So, and it's the same. You need to know both because these two are the ones you use here in your country. And these two centimeters and meters 
are the ones that, the, that you could use in the rest of the world. So you need to know both. So remember, if you are measuring a tiny object, what you need to use? If you are trying to measure an eye with a meter, what is going to happen? <laughs> Good luck, my friends. Or the same with food. If you are trying to measure your nail with a foot, oh my gosh, good luck. And one more thing before I end my video. You know what? How many inches do you think is one foot? How many clips? One, two, three, two, 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 two. how many? clips how many inches do you think is one foot long let's check it because this is a something that you need to know one foot is 12 inches long because of that the rulers that you use here fit 12 inches and not more because this this ruler is one foot one yeah, one foot long. 12 inches, one foot. So in the ruler, you can remember and relate both contact. 12 inches long or one foot long. Okay? So in the center, this week, you need to watch this video and find... six objects to measure at home. The first three, each day you need to measure six or seven, depending on if you are engaged or having fun. Uh, three objects needs to be something that makes sense to measure with using centimeter, uh, inches or centimeters. So something tiny, tiny, something tiny. And another three things you will need to use here to use a measuring tape like that because the other three things are going to be big things. Probably you can measure your bed or your dresser or the doors of your closet. Probably I will give you some idea for, of what to measure and a paper to fill out, okay? And remember, before measure, you need to make an approximation of how many inches or centimeters your object is going to fit and the same with the big stuff. How many meters, meters, how many foot feet are this chair or how many meters I can fit in my window, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.